Well, I'm almost done with it. I it, it was a little bigger project than I thought it was going to be, but it was it was it yeah a lot of wonderful memories is what I'm gonna say a lot of memories. But I got to put a few more coats of polyurethane and then she'll be ready to be in use again. <laughs> um, earlier today, I told one I told the kids when they come home from school, don't put don't mark it up. I got to put a coat up. Um, got to seal it. While I was talking, the youngest one is over there carving his B and his initial in it. And I'm like, oh, Lord. They're very rebellious. That's what boys do, you know. But anyway, I wanted to share it with whoever watches. You know, I um, I told Sarah today when she was reading the table, I said, you know what I'm going to do is make, <laughs> I've got notes all over the house. You know, I got one, car, I got one burning the picnic table down there and a few other places, you know, and I got a lot of little messages out in the garden. But I told her, I said, when I'm gone, you know, y'all bring my ashes home and all y'all get together and go on the little note hunt. And uh, I'll leave y'all something on one of them and just have a little scavenger hunt until y'all find it. But she, she thought I was kidding, but I'm not. I think it's a great idea. I think it'd be a lot of fun and it would fill the house with laughter and that's what I'd want. But here's the table and I'm gonna try to quickly share something else with you because I've been gone a while and you know, I'm trying real hard to get back into living again. I'm working on it, and I got a lot of things going on, but I'm going to get it all done because that's what we do. But I, I wrote on this table. I, I could have wrote a whole book on this table, actually, because this table is um, only one of the few pieces of furniture, actually, that we have left from when we rebuilt from the fire. You know, we've replaced a couple of washing machines and refrigerators and this table and... Uh, one or two other things is the only things that, you know, are here from that year that we bought after, that is. But this table is bought for out here on this porch, and, you know, had a lot, we have a lot of memories here. And I just wanted, I don't want my children to forget, you know, I wanted to pass it on. But I just read a lot of people and things have come and gone since we bought this patio table. This table holds years this table holds years of secrets between sisters. This table has been part of many celebrations. It holds the love that was shared over it. It holds the tears that fell on it. It holds many dreams of those around it. While you sit for, while you sit for whatever reason, my hope is that it will hold yours too. So that's the table. And I was going to show you some of the shells. Here's what I've been doing with the shells that I brought home. Because I, I'm, I, I'm telling you, Gulf Coast has the most beautiful shells I know anywhere I've ever been. But I made I made a couple of these things. These are all Gulf Coast shells, and they are absolutely beautiful. And I enjoyed every second of picking them up. I'm not kidding. They were just so pretty. But I hope you can see how beautiful they are. They're just so beautiful to me. And it made me so homesick. I just, I got to get back to the ocean. That's, you know, that's the, <laughs> that's the greatest place. And when you get your flip-flops and, and, you know, just your summer dresses and you just go barefoot on the beach. And it's just, oh, my God, I, it's my very definite happy place. Um, <laughs> my daughter bought me some couple of things <laughs> recently. I was, you know, they, love, they know I love the ocean. It makes me feel home. The back porch here, I'm thinking about turning it into something like this because I don't, I've been doing it. You know, I got a little section in my bathroom over my tub, around my tub, but I got too much stuff now and too many shells, and I don't know how many of them I can actually hang around here, but I still got a lot of shells to do something with. I just, I brought, I, these I brought out, they're not, uh, some of them are ready to hang, but some of them aren't, you know. You know, I get them, I make them shine and everything. But they were, just look how beautiful they are. Um, and I put a lot of the other kind. The other ones on on that big that string there. I didn't know what I was going to do with, it, but I did it anyway. And I really, I just love the sweet colors that come. You know, just beautiful colors of these. And then you know, I ne you know I buy these little dollar signs at like Dollar Tree, and I make my own little signs like the, these. These have got the shells that I picked up, and they were like some, I loved them, you know, my favorites. And, and I put them on there, made a couple of these, but my, my daughter-in-law came, and she took a couple. <laughs> but, 
because she, she's from Alabama. But that's okay. I don't mind. I'm still working on those two beach scenes. So, I mean, if one person sees it and they get, don't be mean to me, I'm working on them. It'll look better when I get done with them. I kind of you didn't take a knife for it. I didn't didn't look at them before I put the shells on it. But these are absolutely gorgeous shells, and I'm enjoying hanging them and trying to think of what I'm gonna do with them. And because I'm real possessive over my ocean stuff, um, can't help it. <laughs> just can't help it. I'm a little greedy when it comes to my shells. Uh, they just bring back so much memories and happiness to me. I mean, I can't, I just can't even share how much it, what it does to me to go there. It, it brings me back to life. Anywho, um, and, and one more thing real quick before I gotta go. Um, we got, I don't know why I gotta go. I gotta get a lot of stuff done out here. You see that big one right there? Um, I got a couple of them. And that one's, but you know what I use? I take them and I put a, a coat over them, you know, to protect them. And I use them for to hold my soap. Hold soap in the, you know, in my little beach area in the house. <laughs> I, I'm not right, and that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind me at all. Um, I get I get tickled at myself because who else? Who else don't listen to me? That's for sure. Hang on, let me um get. I wanted to share one more thing with you. Uh, what I do with these little signs. Just like put them up here on the table. Um, cause I, 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 you know, I just worried about just le not leaving, not leaving the story. I want the story told. I want my, I want my, my people that came before me to live on forever. I want my sisters to, to be, you know, a part of everything forever. I don't want the story to end. I don't want nobody to write the end on anything. You know, I want it to, I want it to continue. And, you know, so I decided to do something like this. You see, these are, I don't know if I can get it in here. These are like the little plaques, but this one has um, a buttermilk pie recipe on it. And on the back, I put the story of the pie, for us, that is. You know, it's not the story of the actual buttermilk pie. But it, it, why I, why, you know, I only put certain ones up and do them. This was one of them. Because it has, it was something special. You know, my mother, all my life she talked about buttermilk pie and how that's what they cooked during the Depression. It was just a treat, you know. And I finally come across a place in a, up here where I'm living. And it's near, it was in Rutledge, Rutledge, Georgia. And it's right outside of a, a hard labor creek state park. And there's a little restaurant there called Yesterday's Cafe. And my mom and I, we're just out riding around when she was on a visit here. And we went in there and they actually had it on the menu. So, and she just, oh, she just looked like she was already in heaven. So from that, after that, I made sure that I got the recipe and every holiday I made one. You know, I wanted, I wanted her to, you know, I just wanted her to know. And my little grandson, well, he's not little no more, but he's coming there. He'd stay with me on the weekends. And in the winter, I was always by myself. My husband hunts. But anyway, he just loves, you know, he loves to hang out with me in the kitchen. And he was two and a half, three years old. And he knew these recipes by heart. He just, he loved the buttermilk pie, too. He, he, he tear it up. You know, because don't, you don't taste the buttermilk. It's just, it's like a, like, you know, kind of like a custard pie, if you like that. It's just, to me, it's better. And this was like, this, uh, this, this big old board here, I did that. I was just, I wanted to see how it would look on, you know, this recipe on there. And this was a, a caramel frosting that um, my mother never wrote down, let me tell you. She never wrote it down. She just knew it from her grandparents, you know. And it was another thing that they, was a treat for them. And so, you know, of course it was never written down. No one's ever used a, a thermometer on anything to test anything. So it's kind of funny because... You know, when I wrote it out, I was laughing at it because most people wouldn't know what to do with the recipe. Because, you know, you just cook it for, you stand there and stir and stir and stir for 50, about 15 minutes and, until it starts to scorch, really. You see a little tiny red streak. You got to rip it off the heat. Because, you know, I don't have nothing. I don't have a thermometer now. I mean, I could get one, but I wouldn't know what to do with it if I had it. 
So anyway, it's just kind of funny how we remember this. And um, so I, this one was the one from a piece of that, uh, that um, tree that I drug home. And I made it like a paddle purse there because <laughs> she got so many young ones. I just thought that was funny. And so that one's hers when she moved out, and it was the first one. The rest of them are a little smaller. But anyhow, I, you know, I put them, but, you know, they, that's a memory of my mom. And it's um, funny because I added my sister to that recently because, you know, here in the last few years, you know, I'm 62 now. And, you know, I, I went to make this on a holiday. And I completely forgot the, the, uh, the how much, uh, you know, I know I had it, you know, I thought it was 2-2-1-2. Two, two, and two. And anyway, I was wrong. It's 2-2-1 two, two, for the, like, the cups of the ingredients. So anyhow, I call her, call my sister, because none of us have ever wrote it down. You were, you were showed how to make it, and that's it, you know. You either did it or you didn't. But anyway, I decided to, to, to put it down because, you know, it's just me now, so... You know, if I don't do this, then it'll be gone forever. So anyway, I call, and every year she could tell me what I was doing wrong. And um, it was funny because she never had to write it down. And she was seven. You know, she was she recently left me at seventy-four years old. So, and here I am. I'm, I'm carving it and everything I got because I'm scared of losing one thing on it because there's nobody to call. But anyway. I just wanted to share this with you, and, um, you know, I, I had heard someone ask, you know, I, I feel so bad that video I made y'all stare at that one, the whole thing of those little blank things. Well, that's what I do with them, and, and I just put stories behind them. I put things that mean something to either me or the family or, or something that we grew up with that I would, you know, the good qualities in our family that I want to be shared and passed on, you know, and... That's what they're for, and and so I just put things on there, and and I, I, it's funny this table here, y'all y'all know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a a letter, and I'm gonna seal up a letter, and put it underneath this table with something in it from my, from when I'm gone, you know, and, and make sure, you know, I just go. I'm gonna start making out a little map for them so they can have fun on the quest. I think they'll enjoy it. I really do. You know, I got crazy kids. They like their mama. Um, so they'll enjoy it very much. But I did want to share these beautiful shells with you. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I just kind of obsessed about them. But if I could leave tomorrow, I would. I would never was one for the river much, but I, we own it and always have been. So I just want to tell you, I hope you all have wonderful days. I hope you're all blessed. And if, if you're not blessed today, I hope you're blessed abundantly tomorrow. I hope everything you ever wish for and dream for you get. And I hope you appreciate it when you get it. And and don't, you know, please share you share your life. Write it down. Give it to your children. And if you don't have children, Lord, just give it to the neighbor. You know, my, one of my neighbors did that, and that's how I got my daughter's name. Because um, I read it, and it was just absolutely the most beautiful thing. And and the girl, the, the woman in the, her family history was Sarah Elizabeth and she was a strong amazing woman and that's how my daughter got her name so share your stories you know you never know you just never know what might come about about it you know you might help someone in a small way or you might run a whole bunch of people off but either way <laughs> you're sharing your life and because we're not mistakes I promise you each one of us have something in us that is worth sharing we all have a job. Um, hopefully, we all have a job. But, I don't know. I don't... There's days I wish I could give up. But I can't, because I can't. You know, it's just not an option. Um, being in depression doesn't help. And I've taken medication only to mask it. Uh, so, you know, my sister, she always told me, don't put me in that closet, because she knows I, I'll hang on to you. I, you know, I'll hang on to you so tight. <laughs> I just won't let go. You know, when I love, I love deep. But, you know, I had a whole lot of things in that closet. It's taken me a while to go through everything. But, you know, little pieces of my mom and everybody that I've ever loved because everybody's gone now. So I started getting it all out and taking care of things because I promised my sister I wouldn't do that.
to her. She just like, like, don't you put me in there. It's too crowded. She didn't like people. <laughs> she just didn't like nobody. But I've done shared this 15 minutes. Lord, let me get off of here. Um, I'll let me get off of here for now. All right, Billy. I really miss all of you. And I hope you all do, some of you do get to hear it and share that I said I miss you. And I wish the best for you.